What's up, y'all? This is Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. Check out the Game Kings 2 seminar slash it comes down to being a man. It comes down to being a man. Now, it's like two different things, but actually they're actually connected. Because, you know, I did that uh, Game Kings 2 seminar up in New York with uh, Mr. Lucario, Miles Cunningham, Kay Zagan, and uh, Taekwondo. And, well, I'll let y'all see some clips from it right now. That's the DJ right there. Me, I want y'all to know that, because I... I, I I've told y'all that, uh, and guys, y'all can have a seat, relax. It's time now, it's time now, it's game time now. Masculinity is all about direction. So what are we really doing? We're understanding our direction and we're getting people to be a part of that direction. Now, how many of y'all familiar with me? How many of y'all know who I am? So y'all know I'm usually doing this in a car. <laughs> <laughs> you know, cursing, cursing at people driving, talking about body game. Let me give y'all the secret to body game. It ain't just about muscles. It is not, yeah, you get those muscles, everything. Yeah, you look good, but it's all about being a man. Because think about what you have to do to build those muscles. You gotta have a commitment to work out. You have to have the discipline. Every time I go to the gym, I'm half asleep, driving, dark out, you know? And I'm like, oh man. But you gotta get in there. It's my morning call. See, that's the thing but it's about that discipline. See, when I tell y'all body game, some people think, oh, he just talked about getting muscles. They ain't gonna get women. You gotta have a mouthpiece. You gotta have all of that. Yeah, but what if I said a thousand times? The body is the base. But honestly, I'll say body game. Everybody knows what I'm talking about when I say game. That's just to get your attention. <coughs> the name of my book is Nice Guys and Players Becoming the Man Women Want. Think about that, the man. Everything I'm talking about is building your manhood. Always understand that. When I talk about body game, that's the base. Your body is the vehicle to get to where you want to go. All right. Now, some of you might be familiar with me. For those of you who don't, I go by the name k or k 20, right? First and foremost, I want to thank Lucario. I want to thank Miles. I want to thank their ladies and all the people who helped put this together. And I want to say this, Lucario woman, April, Miles woman, they were delegated responsibilities and they helped in or they helped out big time. As a man, right, we were put here to preserve humanity. Okay, when you talk about Adam and Eve, okay, Eve was a gift, excuse me, yeah, Eve was a gift given to Adam by God to help him, right? So as a man, it's your responsibility to delegate. Okay, that's what leadership is. You delegate, right? All right, welcome everyone. It's a blessing just to be here. First off, I want to start off, I thank everyone for being here. I know it took time, resources, effort, and energy just to make it here, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to go pump gas in my car. This shit was 577 per gallon, so <laughs> like, I, ain't, I ain't gonna be in New York for too long, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, I, I just think it's, it's a real different, unique opportunity we get here. You know, a lot of y'all might have seen us from the internet. A lot of y'all might have watched this on y'all phone, laptop, tablet, or something like that, TV, but y'all get to be here. We're here together. We're here at this present time. If y'all have any lo loved ones who was lost in these last couple of years due to COVID or some hard times, y'all made it here today. It's a, it's a blessing. I appreciate y'all coming. You know, But today we're here to talk about what is a man. And according to Webster's Dictionary, it's a, a fully a grown adult male. Now, clearly, that's not the definition of a man we're looking for, right? Mm -hmm. We're looking for the definition of a man who influences people, a definition of a man who makes change, right? And a part of this is three things that's most important to me when it comes to the thought of a man or what a man stands for. Responsibility creates struggle. Struggle creates strength. And strength creates structure. Those are the three things that rules a man's life. So first of all, man, give yourselves another round of applause for coming here and shit. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Appreciate it. So... So real quick, I was like, what, am I, what, what should I talk about today? And, and one of the things that came in my head uh, when I was preparing my, my speech, right, is, you know, I, I get people that hit me up a lot of times and you watch my videos on YouTube 
And they're like, Lucario, how do you stay so chill? Like, why are you so chill? You seem like you're happy all the time and all this other stuff, right? Now, I'm not perfect. You know, I have day, days where I'm down and stuff like that. But generally, I feel good about my situation. I feel good about my life. I'm happy, right? So what I'm going to talk about today real quick is the secret to why I'm so happy. And maybe you could apply this to yourself. And this only took me 40 years to realize. It took me about 40 years. And I, I'm 41 years old right now, so I'm just saying. So now you might get this in 40 years or you might get this in, in the next 20 minutes. You might, it might hit you. So it just depends on the person, right? Yeah. Yeah. Check that out. A link to uh, purchase it is in the description box. And it's actually going to stay in the description box. But y'all can just go right, check it out. I mean, it was a powerful four hours. Powerful four hours. Now, notice the title of it, Definition of a man, you know, so I know some people are like, oh, they tell me some tricks and some, some game and all that. Well, anybody who attended and really you see the seminar, shoot, we get into some deep stuff because it was all about the definition of a man and being a man. And that's very important. That's very important because, yeah, we can use the term game or you know, some people might say seduction, but really it just comes down to being a man. And a lot of guys really just need to become men. And I don't mean like biological males, but a man, a grown man, an adult man, a sovereign man. Does anybody follow me? No, that's what I talk about on Saturdays, being a sovereign man, being the best man you can be. Because that's what it come down to. That's what it come down to. And I mean, we all give in that uh, seminar, we all give a presentation. I mean, I presented some clips and everything, but each one of us gave a, a good presentation. And then we had a question and answer uh, session, which, well, I'll just give you a brief clue. Yeah, you'll see Rom in a different way. <laughs> uh, you'll see Rom express uh, other parts of his personality with uh, one one issue. I ain't going to say. Anybody who actually attended, don't give me any clues. But anyway. Anyway. You know, that's what it's about. And like I say, it's a powerful weekend. You know, we had the seminar. And even before that, uh, the day before. Wait a minute. We were. I did the interviews. We, all, we did some interviews for the upcoming Game Kings 2 documentary. So it was a man. It was a powerful weekend. It was a powerful weekend. But definitely check it out. Check out the link in the description box. So that's what that's the main thing. But like I said, definition the definition of a man, and you know everything um, I talk about it comes down to being a man. You know it's interesting. Every now and then it gets some um, um, stupid detractor. Who will say, oh, you know, oh, that stuff is from the 90s and stuff. And they've never read my book. <laughs> they've never read my book. Or listen to what I talk about here. If you think about it, everything I talk about here is telling you to be a man. Now, obviously, I talk about body gain. And if you built like a man, if you physically built like a grown-ass man, you're going you're gonna to attract women. Now, yeah, when you're a teenager or something, yeah, you can be dressed, you built like that tween or whatever. But everybody got to grow up. It's about being a man, the whole physicality and everything. Just physically looking like a man. So that's one level right there. But it's also the attitude. And, you know, for anybody to say, oh, he's just talking about some stuff from the 90s. Haven't listened to me. I guarantee, I guarantee it. I guarantee it, because I would ask them one question. I talk about, I'm known for talking about four categories of men in my book. I actually put in a fifth. And in my book, Sexual Chemistry, I went even deeper into that. If you look at everything I talk about, and even on these pages, it's about being a man. About being a grown-ass man. Even, um, even the videos I do on this channel, like on Saturdays, like I'll talk mainly about, you know, man gets woman that aspect of it because quite frankly that's a lot of people asking for it they want to know how to deal with women but there's more to it because what do I always say a woman is a commercial to your main program you know 
they the commercial. If anybody actually, anybody who actually follows me know, like on Saturdays, I specifically do Sovereign Man video. Sovereign Man. Because my thing is, a man need to control his boundary, his territory. Every single man, he need to have some space, you know? Like, um, like one, that's one thing I'm training my sons in. Like in their rooms, like I, uh, and I had mentioned this, I don't know, mentioned it somewhere, but I had to build like a portable closet, uh, put together a portable closet, put it in my garage, cause well, I got that many clothes and stuff, <laughs> you know? And, but they actually got plenty of space. They got plenty of space in their rooms. And I asked them, I could have just put through my stuff in their, in their closet, still had space, right? But I, was, I asked them and they were like, nah, but you know what? I respected that because I want them to create their boundaries, you know? And then everything I talk about, not just there, but on my other channels, on my Deep Thought channel, that whole thing is about thinking. Like, men are supposed to be thinkers. Men are supposed to deal with stuff in a logical manner. Men are supposed to solve problems. You got to be able to think to do that. That's my whole Deep Thought channel. No matter what I talk about, it's just like, think on it. Think about it. Even if you disagree with me, just outline why you disagree with me. <laughs> you know? All I say on there, don't attack anybody in your disagreement, but just talk. All right? Don't attack anybody. Just say, okay, this is what I feel. As long as you're thinking about it. Now, if you just say, well, I don't agree with that, nah, you got to think about it. But that's what a man does. See, a, a man, our real domain is up here. Yeah, we got the physicality and all of that, but should we create up here we create up here should all this stuff we see these roads everything how things laid out these buildings the mind of a man but then we also solve problems right so deep thought that's to stimulate your ability to think to solve problems to look at some issues you know I even talked about that in uh nice guys and players i said read some books that have ideas that go against what you believe in just for you, so you could think about it. Shoot. Now, see, here I am a black man, but I've read plenty of white nationalist stuff, even used to lurk on many of their boards. You know? And in fact, uh, some uh, Sun Tzu said, the legendary Chinese philosopher Sun Tzu, if you know your enemy, you know yourself, you need not uh, fear the results of a hundred battles. So don't be afraid. And, you know, you could apply that. I've even said that in applying with men gets woman. If you know women and you know yourself, you need not fear the results of 100 seductions. But even then, what are you doing? You thinking. You being a man, you thinking about it. You putting that thinking in there. Now, you got to balance that out. You don't want to overthink some shit, but you still got to think. And, in fact... You know, you gotta be like well-rounded as a man. Like, you know, you gotta like create. Like I got my money channel. Now it's ironic, I started my money channel. Everybody always talking about money, 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 but I'm like, damn. Only time I get like a lot of uh, responses on there is if it's connected to relationships. Like, I did something on there. I was talking about, like, all these single men and the economy. Not that the men were single or why they were single, the relationship aspect. Strictly about how it affects the economy. Guys were getting on there more for that. But I'm like, if I'm saying some business ideas or uh, a mindset to, like, actually make money or a formula for making money, which works. I'll just say the house of the money and leave it at that. Uh <laughs> barely get any views but as a man you got to make money out here because as a man you got to hunt you got to hunt now you ain't making that money to impress women you making that money for yourself oh incidentally let me let me um let me fuck with some detractors here because every now and then i get attracted they'd be like ah oh, you broke you broke okay prove it <laughs> that's all i ask prove it prove it post something like that provides information do it on in fact you start a channel you put a video say yeah this Ron Will's bank information this is how much you make this is tax everything 
Because I even did a video on my money channel. Don't be pocket watching and shit. You don't know how much money I make. Only thing you know for me is, only thing you know for me is I'm here. You don't know what. Shit. But that's a weakness too, worrying about pocket watching. That's not being a man. That's some female shit. You watch it, you worry about some other dude's money. That's some female shit. And that's a, I'm gonna be real. That's a big, I'm gonna tell you what, the big problem out here with men. And I'm, I'm a, like, I know some guys be like, hey, well, women did this or that. No, men take responsibility and accountability for their role, whatever. Because I'm going to tell you now, a lot of women, I, and I will maintain this, a lot of women wouldn't do what they did. They do. We had a critical mass of men who stood up and said, nah. If a critical mass of men told the ladies, hey, y'all got to wear your hair in buns and wear skirts that go down to your uh, ankles, I guarantee, I'm going to use the word guarantee, you're going to see a change in how they dress overnight. Guarantee it. One reason they dress, and some guys might talk about how they dress now and everything. Oh, well, enough men are uh, supporting. <laughs> Shit. It's just that simple. Because, uh, and like I talked about yesterday, women do what they do to please men. No matter what. They want the, but it's the best men, though. And what do I talk about in my books? How to be the best men. Even when I talk about select and non-select. Because you get some guys out here talking about yeah, they, they non-select. I'm non-select. I'm like, shit. No. If you are, then you know what you need to work on. And women gonna respond to a man. They gonna respond to a man. And let me be clear. That's good if you like handsome or model handsome or something. But a, a feminine woman, she wants that man. She wants a man. She don't want somebody in the mirror more than her. A feminine woman. She want that masculinity. And shoot, that's what I talk about. Shoot. I break it down, especially in sexual chemistry. Women want that masculinity. They want that man who's aggressive, assertive. Even when people, guys be talking about choosing signals or something. They just giving a signal. They want you to approach. They want you to take charge and just go over there and be like, hey, what's up? That shit turn a woman on. Because, one, they've been checking you out anyway, but they just waiting for you. And, yeah, you got some women, they, they'll they take charge, but those women got masculine energy. Indeed, if you a man about it, women with masculine energy, they'll chill out around. I remember a few years ago, I was dealing with this woman and stuff. She said, I brought the woman out in her. Because she was trying to be bossy and shit at first, and I was like, oh, no. I got to, you know. And this one no young girl, this is a woman around my age, a little bit older. She said, I brought the woman out in her because I was like, nah, we come in here, we ain't doing this. <laughs> and incidentally, I ain't spending one penny on her. One penny. But it was just being that man about some shit. Women want that. Like I said, in my books, that's what I'm talking about. And that shit ain't that shit ain't gone out of style. It's been the same for millennia since since we've been in this current form as Homo sapiens. Women respond to a man like a man ain't sitting around complaining and shit. A man, do something about something. If a man see a problem, if a man see a problem, the most he might do is discuss it, and that's only that's only to. Uh, figure out the best way to solve it. But he's not going to sit around and complain, complain, complain. He's just going to do it. That's why I'm going on women on this channel. Because it's kind of stupid. It's stupid to do so, really. If you see a woman acting trifling, leave her the fuck alone. You know? That's easy. <laughs> you know? Leave her alone. Don't play it, no matter what she said. You know what? I was at this uh, impromptu seminar. I ain't going to call the dude's name. <laughs> but he, he got a name out there. He got a name out there. And he was doing this uh, like impromptu seminar before he got big, right? And I remember there was this woman, young lady in the audience. And she said she wouldn't sleep with a man for a year if she going out with him, right? She wouldn't sleep with him for a year. 
And I never, that dude looked it dead in the eye. He didn't hesitate. He was like, damn, you look good too. That ain't happening with me. <laughs> oh man, he had her crying and stuff. But he wasn't playing with what she was doing. It was that simple. He was being a man about it. He wasn't like putting her up on a pedestal or some shit. You know, or playing by her rules. He was being a man about it. And he was straight up told her his deal too. Now somebody might say, oh, he should have told her that. But he said, nah, that was, he wasn't going to deal with her like that. If he was going to deal with her at all. And she got mad. But you tell him. Now you got a lot of women out here acting crazy, doing crazy stuff. If you check them on that shit. And without hesitation, they ain't going to do it. Or at least they ain't going to do it around you. Now, they can always find some dude who want the pussy bad enough who's going to do it, which is a problem in itself. And really, that's a part of manhood, too, really. Let me, let me get more into that, that discipline, that dick discipline. In fact, I tell, the, I, I tell the players in my book, Nice Guys and Players, I tell the players because I got just as many players. They tired of their lifestyle, messing with too many, a bunch of crazy. That's what I say, shit. You don't have to give it a dick. Hell. Make it work for it. In fact, the guys at the top, the guys who are really getting the women, who really got the women lined up, they only deal with the women on their terms. Shit. They the son. When you're at that level, shoot, a man's supposed to be the son. The woman's supposed to orbit you. You deal with her on your own terms. And this ain't saying you like putting her down or anything like that. Like you know what you you know what you gonna put up with. And women gonna respond to it. And you know, if they don't like you, they don't like it, okay. Wish them luck and move on. It's just that simple. And anybody who read my stuff and actually listen to me, like really just sit back and listen to me and don't be emotional about it. Don't be in your female feelings about this shit. And I'm talking to some of the some some juvenile males about that. Don't be in your feelings. Listen to them. I'm telling you that. Have some discipline. Just because a woman like offers you something don't mean you have to take it. Cause they'll do that. Cause when you're a true man about it, shit, the women gonna come to you. Even even if even when you approach them, really. Because they'll put them, they've been clocking you. They'll put themselves in a position for you to approach. And if you're really paying attention, you're like, you know what? she been staring at me. Always coming around. Always saying hi to me. Hi, let me. Let me go talk to her. Hi. And stuff. And we don't get mad at it and shit. But just focus on the man. Now, you know. Now, I know some dudes would probably be like, oh, they're doing this, they're doing that. Well, let me be clear about something else. And let me address something else a detractor pointed out or said. Saying something about, look, I'm shitting on these guys in the basement and everything. That's most of his audience. No, it ain't, motherfucker. <laughs> no, it's not. That's one thing about my, my prime supporters. They meant about this shit. They either co-signing or they trying to develop their man better. I don't like weakness. Cause if I if it was if it was like that and I had mostly like loser types, yeah, I'ma say loser types. On here, shit, I have a million subs. This ain't the channel for it. I said from day one, this is the channel for wolves. Apex predators. No excuses. So you either there or you work, you really working to get there. It's just that simple. I don't give a fuck otherwise. People, hey, I'm going to say something about myself. People don't realize, y'all can see me this or that. People don't realize how cold-blooded I can be. Because I got an, I got a specific agenda. I don't have time, um, I don't have time to coddle anybody. So let me be clear about that. Because I'm going to tell you what. Being around like real men in my family and stuff, because I had uh, had several uncles, grandfathers, cousins, OGs in the streets. <laughs> they ain't play with you. They ain't coddle you. I think that's a problem with overall society now. Participation trophies and shit. You had to win. You had to kick ass. <laughs> you had no excuses. 
I think that's a major problem now. You had to earn whatever you got. Ain't nothing wrong with competition. Teaches you, teaches you how to win like a man, teaches you how to lose like a man. I remember when I was playing in this soccer club and everything uh, when I was young. I was a team captain. I remember we lost to somebody and had a couple uh, guys on our team had their heads down. I said, get your heads up. Get your heads up. Hold your heads up. That's what it means to be a man. You win, you win as a man, you take a loss as a man. You take that shit like a man. Because men understand you're going to win some, you're going to lose some. But you're going to figure out how to win some. And that actions have consequences. Everything. We take responsibility for it. And if you see all my stuff, that's what I'm talking about. And that's what we need out here. Ain't about no tricks and everything. And look, if a woman, get back to what I was saying about the select and non-select. If a woman treating you like shit, you non-select to her. It's just that simple. <laughs> Seriously. It's just that simple. Ain't no complicated shit to her. If they treating you like shit, you catching hell, that's your indication that you non-select. That's your indication. Because that's that's the real key, how she treats you, how you treat her. Everything, and even if you're in a relationship with her, how she treat you. Y'all having sex all the time when you want it? Or once a month, when she just happen to just, she just be too horny and shit, and she don't feel like putting in that dildo. Or who running shit? You know, how she treating you. If she treating you like shit, you know how to lie. And thinking they treat all men like that, nah. Because honestly, you're a man about it. You select man. And that a non-select male. You're a select man. Women, women chill with you. I have like an issue with women personally. Like just coming at me raw and like... I swear, once in a blue moon. And then I had to let them know. But they just take one look and say, nah, we ain't playing with him. <laughs> I mean, he, he's not the one. <laughs> but you carry yourself like a man, you're going you to see it. Shit. You're going to see what it means to be select. It's unfortunate a lot of men haven't experienced that. Well, males haven't experienced that world. I have no idea what it's like. I have no idea what it's like to have general cooperation. And it's not even about, I'm, look, let me be clear. It ain't about just getting women or getting pussy or something like that. It's about just general respect. Just general respect. And let's just be real, a lot of men ain't getting that. Well, males ain't getting that. I'm going to be very clear. Cause you got a lot of males ain't getting that. So instead of like standing up or doing something, being a man about it, cause shit, they're gonna complain. Cause I always say it's better to have a woman's respect than have love. Love is fleeting. Love is really just lust. What people what people call love is nothing but just lust. You break it down, it's lust. That shit go in and out. It's better you have respect. She's gonna treat you some with some respect. She's not going to try to directly harm you. Damn, all these motherfuckers got to have donuts that bad. God damn. Just real quick. Sugar's a serious addiction. That's a serious drug. Serious. But. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. That's what it's all about. But if you want that respect, you got to stand up as a man first. You got to stand up as a man. And uh, yeah, some some males may look like it on the surface. Maybe they making a little bit of money, but well, women make money. What they got to do with anything? Hourly gay men make money, but man, money is money. What's your behavior like? You know, what is your behavior like? What are you gonna put up with? Are you gonna stand on your word? You gonna be honest in how you carry yourself? You gonna carry yourself like a man? Cause that it ain't even something you're thinking about. It should be just a natural part of who you are. That's how I gotta get. It can't be something like it even going beyond some so-called masculine frame. If you gotta put on a frame, that means you ain't a man. 
Because it should be a part of you. And that shit should appear to you like why you like. You could be like someplace asleep or something and they can see the man. But that's the whole thing. You gotta be that man. That's everything I'm teaching. So, and we addressed a lot of it. Getting back to the, uh, getting back to the seminar. Y'all check it out. The link for it is in the description box. Check it out. It's powerful. And shoot, they're gonna do it again out in Las Vegas. So keep uh, pay attention to Mr. Lucario's and Miles. Uh, Miles Cunningham's thing. Yeah, I probably won't be at that one. Then again, you never know. But whatever the case, this is just the first part. First part, check it out. Very powerful. I mean, it was... This wasn't like, um, you know, funny jokes or some corny shit. This is men letting men know in a real man's way what's up, how to carry yourself. And, you know, that's all part of my program, being a sovereign man. In fact, I love, I, I can't wait to the day that's all I can have to talk about. Seriously, I can't wait for that day. I'm looking forward to that day. That's all, that's all I can, like, talk about. But, you know, it's funny. My sovereign man videos, phew, it's taking a while to pick up. I'm like, shit, you know? Dudes just keep, I mean, I guess dudes still need help with just getting a woman, but if you become sovereign, shit, I'm going to just say it like this. You're always going to have an option, always. But you're so sovereign, you're so focused on what you're doing, you're only going to deal with the women who want to uh, contribute to that sovereignty, who's going to be in your boundary, who's going to be in cooperation to your operation, in submission to your mission. You know, but before you even get to that point, you got to have that first. It's got to have something for her to even want. You know, because women want men. That's the bottom line. You talk to any, yeah, you actually have a conversation with the woman, actually pay attention. They respond to men, even when they disagree with them at first. They can disagree with them. And e in fact, even when you talk about that thing, a lot of people talk about shit tests. And have they had some guys ask me, well, what are they doing? They just want to see if you're a man. You know? They ain't sure about you. So they're going, they'll do stuff just to test. It's like, okay, let me try. And shit. But you stay in your ground as a man. Or even be able to walk away as a man if you will push it, kick it to the curb. Hey, at least you got their respect. So, anyway, yo. But check it out, though, man. Check it, check out the Game King Seminar. Um, yeah, I'll get back with y'all tomorrow or something, all right? Y'all love these car videos. <laughs> hey, if it gets y'all attention, I'll keep doing them. You know, personally. Hey, my druthers, I just be doing Professor Rom in front of my bookcase all the time. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you got to go. Sometimes you got to reach people where they at. So, anyway, I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.